On this week's episode, I'm going to turn a pen out of a corn cob. So I've got myself this corn cob. It's quite dry. It's been sitting around for quite a while now. And my plan is to try and make a pen out of it. I've got one of these 7mm slimline kits. It's probably not the best kit to use, but it's all I've got lying around. And I'm hoping that I can get a good pattern where these kernels used to be. So my plan is going to be to cut this up, drill a hole, and then I'm probably going to have to make it slightly fat so we see these kernels. But hopefully it's still okay to suit the slimline. After cutting this in half, I'm actually not too sure if this is going to work. The center of the cob here is really soft. It's almost like foam, you can just dig it out real easy. Well I'm still going to continue on, the next thing I need to do is drill some holes. You know I think it might have been a good idea for me to stabilize these cobs first. But I'm just going to take the risk. When I made my first pen, someone suggested that I should have used a barrel trimmer. So I've gone out and bought myself one. Now let's give it a go. Tell you what, it might be soft in the middle, but it certainly gets hard on the outside. I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't think this is going to work. I mean, I could be wrong, it could turn out beautiful. I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. Since I've never turned a corn cob before, I'm just going to use a carbide tip and see how we go. So as you just saw, I had a heap of trouble trying to turn these corn cobs. I just couldn't get the tube to stick in the center. Now I did realize that I forgot to scuff up the tube when I glued them in the first time. So when they come loose, I did scuff up the tubes and re-glue it. And unfortunately it still hasn't worked. I think it's because the inside is just so soft that it's just not sticking. So I've gone out and bought myself another pen kit. This one has a bigger tube. So now when I drill out the cob, I should be able to get rid of all the soft part in the middle and that way it'll be able to stick to the outer hard bit. So I've mounted up the new cob, hopefully this one sticks alright. Now I didn't have the right size collars, but I have made these work, so let's give it a go. Thank you. 
cool does that look? You can see where all the kernels start to grow, but you'll notice here on the ends where I've gone a bit deeper, it starts to take away from it a little bit. So it's not too bad in the middle, the ends aren't that great, but it'll be okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is give it a quick sand, then I'm going to apply some red dye, and then we can put our finish on. Before I show you this awesome pen, I want to mention that I'm going to give this one away, and here's how you can enter. All you need to do to get an entry into the draw is make any purchase in my Etsy store, and for every purchase you make, that's one entry into the draw. So if you've got a spare 5 minutes, please check out my store, I've got a new range of enchanted eggs, galaxy eggs and underwater eggs, and all you need to do is make a purchase in the next 2 weeks, and you'll go in the draw to win this awesome pen. <laughs>